A once in a lifetime show is coming to our skies this week. News 5 meteorologist Lauren Brand tells us the best spots to see a comet and what else might be visible to the naked eye. This comet is fairly new to scientists and was discovered just last year. Not only will this comet be at its brightest, but it's likely to be the brightest comet that we'll see in 2025. It will stick around for a few days, but each day it will get a little harder to see. You have the best chances of seeing these comets with the naked eye when they're at their closest point to the sun. This also makes it tricky for viewing because you have to wait for the sun to set, but there's only a small window between then and when the comet disappears behind the horizon. Our C-2024 comet will be visible just after sunset on the southwestern horizon. Now, if you miss the comet, we have several planets that will be visible with the naked eye tonight. Starting around 7 p.m. tonight, if you face the southwest direction, Venus and Saturn will both be visible. It will be hard to tell that they are planets and they will look more like stars. Some planets like Neptune and Uranus will require extra equipment to see them. On January 21st, we have something called the Planetary Parade. Scientists use this term to describe when several planets gather closely on the same side of the sun. These planets aren't technically aligned and they just appear in the sky at the same time. Looking ahead at the next few nights around 5 p.m., temperatures will be below freezing, but the clouds will hold out for us. Our full moon is set to rise just before sunset, which might make it harder to see the night sky. We would love to see your pictures of this event, and you could have a chance to be featured. Just email us at weather at koaa.com and where you captured your photo. Meteorologist Lauren Brand, News 5.